When we're using Jet Engine and Listing Grid, what we want to do sometimes is not display all the products or all the posts, and we want to add just an option for the user to interact or just push a button or an image so it will be able to display more of the posts or products. So in this video, I'll be showing you exactly how to do that, how to connect it, and how to set it up for your website, products, or posts. So without further ado, let's dive right in. When we are in a WP Admin dashboard, what you want to have is the Jet Engine plugin, and if you don't have it already, I'll be leaving a link down in the description of this video so you'll be able to acquire your own. So let's go to our set it up element grid as we have right here. If you don't know how to set up a listing grid for yourself, I have a video that will be popping up right now on your screen and you'll be able to head over there and then come back to this video to see how to set it up for yourself. If we are here, let's continue. So what we have right now here, we have a listing grid as you might be able to see here. I have some products, I have a title, I have the price and I have the add to cart button and with some borderline for that. Now we'll be able to see all our products. It will be like something like 18 products, but when I'll be displaying it or when I will be previewing it, you'll be able to see it's not an 18 product. It's about something like 15 products. And I want to add a button because it won't display all those products. So for that matter, what I want to do is head over back to my edit with Elementor page, scroll to the bottom and then add a button. If you want to add an image, do the same thing. The price will be similar to that, but it would be within a unique ID. The same thing will be applied if you want to add it with a button, what I'm going to do right now. So let's add a button, drag and drop it just below the Elementor listing grid by Jet Engine. What I will head over and do is just center it and I'll change the color for it. Let's say, um, let's do something similar to what I have over there. Something like that. Yeah, great. I like it. So now we have click here. So I want to change this text, obviously. So let's do something like load more product. Now, what I want to do is set up the ID for that. What the ID is going to do is going to connect or tell Jet Engine when a user clicks that unique button that user wanted me to load more, I will load more products. Let's do something like load and then underscore more products. So let's copy that and let's head over back to our Elementor grid by Jet Engine. And right over here, what you want to do is set up here the load more. So you want to enable it and now by click. So whenever a user clicks this exact ID of this element, do this or load more products or posts for that matter. So load more element ID. Let's paste that right over here and let's hit update. So when we are previewing our changes right now, if we scroll to the bottom of it and we'll see our button right over here, I'll click it and then it will load more. So let's click it and you'll see that more products have popped up. So it loaded all the products that I wanted to, therefore it will not display the button anymore. But what do you want to do here? You have also the option to show a loader. So you have a loader text and you have a loader spinner. If you want to, it adds up a little bit for the user experience. And yeah, I want to show that and I want loader text. Let's do loading more products. Let's update it. Let's head over back to our preview page and scroll to the bottom. And now we'll be able to see again that it doesn't show all the products. But when I click the button this time, it would show a spinner and it will show this custom text that I just defined in the jet engine listing grid. So let's click it. And you'll see loading more products. You saw this little spinner. It was quite quick, but that did what it was meant to do. And uh, yeah, that's exactly how you set it up. You can do the same thing with an image or any other element. Just make sure that you do set up this unique ID that will tell Jet Engine what it needs to do when this ID has been clicked or this element for that matter has been clicked. If you like this video, I'll be really glad to if you leave a like. And if you want to see more videos on WooCommerce, Elementor or WordPress, I will be really glad to if you subscribe to my channel because I'll be uploading a lot more videos on those topics. So I'll be seeing you in the next one.